Hi, this is Rio De La Vista, and I'm really pleased today to be here at the Ventero Open Press in San Luis, um, interviewing a, an up-and-coming young artist, Jesus Sanchez. Jesus is going to be in our Keep the Rio Grande Grand Art Show and Sale on August 15th in South Fork. So it's great to be here with you, Jesus. Thanks for having me. Well, we're really pleased to uh, include some artists from Ventero this year, and you've uh, been involved in the program here, learning to be a develop your art and how to work in the world of a professional artist, right? Right. So what uh, got you into art? When did you start drawing and doing different Since things? Since about three years old. Three years old? I what were you doing? I used to draw anything that come to mind. Yeah. People was my thing. I used to draw people because I was, I liked the anatomy. Uh-huh. And now as I got an older, I liked the anatomy of the hands. So I like to draw the hands. Wow, I'd like to see some of that. <laughs> so you're a native of San Luis, right? Right. And you, uh, did you learn a lot of art in school, or has that been a new opportunity here at Ventero? Um, kind of both. I've, when I was born in class, I used to draw. It's just, I don't know. I used to, couldn't help yourself. Yeah, huh? I couldn't help myself then. I took, it's, Three years of art, and uh, one year is actually with Randy Pizan, who is the founder of the Open Press. So he knew you from back then as well. Yes. So you've been involved here at Ventero for quite a while, you said. Um. Well, I've seen this place get built pretty much. Cause it was pretty rough to start with, huh? Right, but I never used to do art here till about a year ago. Mm -hmm. But it's come a long ways, and it's a beautiful facility now. So you've been doing some printmaking, I take it? Um, yeah. Reduced block print. What's a reduced block? I don't know that one. Well, you start with a uh, block of a... I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a vinyl. Mm -hmm. And you just carve into it, and it's like a stamp. You cut out your light colors first, and then you just... From your light colors, you go to your dark colors. So you put the ink on the stamp and then... Yeah, I'll... Uh, yeah. Press it on the paper. Why don't you show us a couple of your pieces here? Looks like you've got some animal images. Yes, this is part of my animal series. This is a, a... tiger. A tiger. Beautiful. And that's a reduced block? Yes, this is a reduced block. Print. Great. And it's called El Tiger Blanco? El Tigre, Tigre, actually. Thank yeah, you. it's Spanish. Great. Yeah, and tiger's my favorite animal, so that's why I just decided to do that. What's your fa why is it your favorite animal, tiger? I just like how they look. Yeah. Just They're the very powerful, aren't they? Right. You can see that in that. A lot of power even in the eyes. They're looking straight at you. What's the and there's another one here, another example of your work? Yes, it is. Giant panda. Uh huh. Um, Beautiful. I just like panda bears, so I decided to do it. Yeah. So animals are an important part of your life here. Do you feel um, that too? Yeah, I can say that. You work with them in the. I know one of the other things you do besides developing your artwork is uh, working with the local youth farming organization, right? Right. What's that called? It's called uh, Sembrando Semillas, which means uh, plant and seed. Mm -hmm. And um, we have a group of middle school students who work out in the field and learn the farming, the old tradition farming. And what are some of the things that make it traditional? Um, just um, how the quality of it, how you take care of it. Um, there's no fertilizers involved, everything's organic. And you use the traditional water delivery too, right? Right, it's, it's flood irrigation, it comes down from ditches, and the water comes from the mountains, actually it's the runoff from the snow melting, and just fills up all the ditches, the rivers, and runs its way down, and then from there, we use the water for our field. And it comes through the aceque, is it called, right? Oh, yeah, the secas. And what's, 
What's an acequia for people who don't know? An acequia is just the Spanish word for ditch. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty much like the, if you think about it, it's like the, the artery for all the little ditches to make their way, I guess, into the To get the, the water out across so I, the field. So the sake, but it really involves the community a lot, doesn't it? It's maybe um, different than some other ditch systems. Yeah, everyone, there's days set for each person to use the water, to have rights for the water. Mm -hmm. And each day is set for a different person. And there's a time they could use the water. And there's a, an annual ditch cleanup that all the farmers get together, the locals, and they'll go down this ditch and burn out the weeds, take out all the, the wood that's in there, and just clean out the ditch. So everybody has to work together to make it work. Right. That's great. So you're, you've graduated through that, I guess, or you, you were involved as a, a younger student, and now you're a supervisor? Right. Uh, I started last year, and then I was a worker, and this year, I'm a supervisor, actually. I just watch him work pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that'll be an inspiration for some of your art, too, as you go forward. So, Well, what's, you know, the Rio Grande Headwaters Land Trust, we really exist to try to keep farming and ranching available for the future. What do you, do you think that's something important for your community, too? I guess. <laughs> Something to <laughs> make sure that there's farms for the future. Right. That we could have, um, that we know where our food comes from. We know, I guess, where it's it comes from. It's organic and it's yeah, local. it's organic and, and local. Sufficient. So, great. Well, we're really excited to have you in our art show on August 15th up in South Fork at the Keep the Rio Grande Grand, and we're looking forward to hopefully being the part of your future success as an artist as well. So you can learn more about our art show at www.riograndlandtrust.org. And uh, Jesus, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.